everybody, it is Louisa and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a school get ready with me. Although it is a school get ready with me, I am filming this after school. I really hope that you guys enjoy the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you do and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Make sure to go follow me on my Instagram, which is Flora Louisa, and my TikTok, which again is Flora Louisa. And first, I'm going to show you guys my school makeup look. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, so I've just taken my makeup off and put my hair into a low ponytail so that I can do my makeup and I literally look like a toenail right now. For me, my skin is so bad at the moment because of this spot right here. I know like I've only got like one or two spots. For me, I literally never get spots, so having one big spot is really not appealing. I'm going to do my makeup for school, so I've just got all of my products in my makeup bag, so... I'm just gonna get on with it and stop talking. Okay, so the first product which I'm going to use is the Garnier Skin Active BB Cream. I've literally used this for like two years and it's just such a good, nice, like natural looking base. It's not like a foundation, but it's not like a tinted moisturizer. It's kind of in between and I just really like the finish that it gives me. Um, This is in the shade Light. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop this on my face. Let me zoom you in a little bit, although I don't want to terrify you by this, but yeah. So basically, I just put a load of dots all over my face and then I put a little bit down my neck and I just blend it in with this like, I think it's like a stippling brush, I'm not really sure, but it's from Makeup Revolution. I got it like two years ago. No, I don't know. But yeah, I just kind of like like blend it in in like circular motions um not really circular motions i just blend it in um whatever feels best really i'm no makeup artist like i just kind of do what looks right on my face and yeah not gonna lie when i was like 12 13 i used to be so much better at makeup like i feel like i've got worse but you know this bb cream is kind of like um quite dark considering that it is in the shade light but, but it is quite like a summery foundation and um, but I wear it all year round because I like to look quite like bronze and stuff and I do fake tan and um, quite a lot so I currently haven't faked tan for like over a week but when I do fake tan it really it matches it really nicely if I add a bit of bronzer on top but yeah it's kind of like an alright color like I can work with it and I don't know if you can see but it has kind of like made my skin really nice and glowy and like fresh um, obviously it would look a lot nicer if I didn't have this big spot because I don't really want to put a load of like makeup on it because I feel like it will make it worse um, so I'm just going to leave that spot. I will put some bronzer down my neck and stuff to blend it down but yeah, it just it just looks really nice and fresh. I don't really know how to describe it like it's not giving me loads of coverage but it's it's just like nice for school. Okay so I'm now going to move on to concealer and my favourite concealer at the moment has been the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is in the shade uh, Fair Neutral and it is quite light for me but I only put like a tiny bit under my eye just to highlight it. Just put like a little bit under my eye. Literally just like that much because I really don't want my under eyes to look cakey so I just like to keep it nice and natural um, for school. And I blend it out with a pointed foundation brush um, because I feel like it gets into the places quite nicely. You know, it's easier to blend it out. But yeah, it doesn't really do a lot. It just kind of brightens them a bit. It makes me look a little bit more awake. So that is my concealer done. I'm not gonna put any on the spot because I don't wanna make it worse. So I'm now going to move on to powder. So the powder that I've been using at the moment is the MUA, just like pressed powder. Um, it's only it's only like one pound and it just does the job really like I don't really see the point in buying an expensive powder This is just a really nice affordable one. It does the job It makes my makeup nice and matte and I just put like a little bit on Mostly on my like t-zone just to stop my nose from being oily Although my although my skin isn't very oily. It's quite it's not dry I feel like I have like normal skin like normal to dry skin because it doesn't get too dry and it doesn't get oily. It still like keeps the glow a little bit, um, but it makes it a bit more matte. I'm now gonna move on to bronzer. So the bronzer that I've been using at the moment is the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. And as you can see, I have used a lot of this up. I just um, 
put this on. Um, I'm not very good at describing like my makeup to be honest. I kind of just do it. Um, but I mostly like kind of do that, whatever that does. It kind of just helps it a bit. Put it onto your cheekbones, I guess. No, it's not your cheekbones. I don't know. I'm not very good at describing makeup. You can see what I'm doing. I'm just putting it onto my cheek and then my forehead. The amount of bronzer that I put on depends on how much fake tan I have on. Sometimes I use like so much bronzer, I literally put it everywhere, like literally everywhere. Um, but I haven't, well I faked tan like a week ago so it's pretty much come off now. Uh, I kind of just make my face look quite orange because if I leave like white patches then it just looks weird so I kind of just put it everywhere and I know I'm not a makeup artist, I know you're not meant to put it everywhere but this is Louisa's makeup tutorial and this is what I do. I'm just going to put a bit of bronzer down my neck just to match it to my face. I think my neck is a similar colour to my face, I don't think it's too much lighter, hopefully anyway, I can't really see. Obviously. If I fake tan then I normally put on a little bit of this MUA bronzer which is a little bit darker um, and I don't put it everywhere because if I put it everywhere I literally look like a tangerine. This is basically my base Um, I don't know if I look orange but I am literally the same colour as my neck so I can't really help that. My next step is mascara. So normally for school I'll use the Maybelline Lash Sensational because this mascara is so good. If you want a really good mascara, definitely get the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Um, but for today, I'm going to use the Essence Lash Princess, which is also a really good mascara. This one's a little bit cheaper than the Maybelline one, but I'm going to use the Essence one today because I can't be bothered to take off the waterproof one because it takes so long to get off. Well, this is kind of good, you know. So this is the eye with mascara and this is the eye without mascara, like literally, it's so good. Oh no, I've actually messed up this eye. Oh my god, this one's gone so clumpy. Right, I'm gonna fix this, but this eye's gone a lot more clumpy. I feel like this mascara, sometimes it goes clumpy, but then sometimes it looks really good. Um, so this one definitely looks better. Um, but anyway, I'm going to sort that out. Okay, so for school, I literally don't do anything to my eyebrows. Um, I just brush through them with a spoolie because I literally don't have the time in the morning to do my eyebrows. And my eyebrows are naturally like quite dark compared to my hair colour. My hair colour is like really blonde and my eyebrows are quite dark. Um, but I have got them tinted recently, so maybe that's why. And then moving on to lips, I just pop on a lip balm because... We don't want chapped lips, especially at school. Um, I hate the feeling of having chapped lips. And then I just pop on a lip gloss. This lip gloss is literally my baby. It's the best lip gloss in the world. It's the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in the shade Fenty Glow. It's just so pretty. And it's not too, it's quite natural, but it's not really natural, but it's like, I can get away with it for school. So I'm just gonna pop this on. Okay, so yeah, I've just popped this lip gloss on. As you can see, it's really nice and glossy and glowy and it kind of looks like I'm wearing highlight right now. I don't really know why. Like, if you can see there, I'm not really sure. This is my makeup and then normally I set it in place with the Morphe uh, Continuous Setting Spray, but I've literally barely got anything left in here and I don't, I don't want to waste it because I'm not going out because I'm filming this on a night, so... Yeah, but I do use this and I really recommend it. It's really good. Yeah, this is the finished makeup look. It definitely hasn't gone very well tonight, not gonna lie. Sometimes it goes a lot better than other days. And I don't really know why because I do it the same every day. Um, but you know when you just have them days when it looks really good and then other days it just looks really bad. I feel like today it looks really bad. But it's just nice and natural and it's nothing too like full glam. It just looks like I've put a bit of concealer and lip gloss on so yeah and then as this is a get ready with me normally with my hair I just leave it straight because my natural hair is like this straight um, and it's just easy and I don't really have time in the morning but occasionally I do curl it but only like once a week at the moment I just can't be bothered to curl my hair and um, 
so yeah i'm just gonna leave it like this for now um but yeah that is the finished get ready with me so i really hope that you guys enjoyed the video make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're new and i'll see you guys all next week for a new video bye